This is the Oklahoma Sports Podcast presented by OklahomaSports.net. Stay tuned for interviews and information about high school, college, and professional sports around the state of Oklahoma. Now here's your host, Joey McWilliams. And thanks again for stopping by the Oklahoma Sports Podcast. Today we get to visit with someone who is in Silver City, New Mexico, the head softball coach of the Cameron Aggies, Coach Dennis Furr. Coach, your team coming along pretty well and actually had a seven-game winning streak cut short last weekend, but still you did something that the program hadn't done before, and that was win a series against the uh, always tough West, West Texas A&M. Talk about that series in particular. Well, you know, yeah, um, West Texas is a is a program that's been really good for a long time now, um, and, and we are playing a lot better softball. Um, our program is on the rise. I have a bunch of young kids that are, are really buying in and doing things the right way, and um, are super talented. You know, we we felt like going into the series that we were the better team and uh, were able to get the first two games, lost a close game, game number three, but um, felt really good about, you know, finally getting over the hump and uh, winning a series from those guys. It does have that feel, Coach. It does have that feel of a program on the rise right now, 21 and 11 on the year. Uh, you as conference play has come along in the Lone Star Conference, you all have, have lost a couple of series, but you haven't been swept. That looks to me like a testament of a team that's just not ready to give up. And, and in so doing so, you right now have an 8-7 and seven record in conference play. So even with a couple of series losses, you guys are still above 500. Yeah, and, and the thing is, we, we our conference schedule was a little bit tough in the front. And, and, and I don't know that we have a – we have a lineup that has several young players playing uh, that are with that didn't have a whole lot of college experience, um, and so those first couple weekends of uh, conference play, maybe we weren't as sharp, weren't as prepared, weren't ready for what was going to happen. Um, but we really feel like we turned the corner and and really have one of the better teams, and not only in the conference but in the country, uh, have been able to really start playing better and, and our conference schedule, like I said, its front end was a little bit uh, a little bit tougher than it is in the back end and, and we're prepared really to make a run to get back in the race to maybe win the conference. Well, you're definitely putting yourself in the position to be playing in the postseason, one of the top six teams in the Lone Star Conference. Coach, you have good pitching as well. Speaking now with Coach Dennis Furr from Cameron, and it's not just one player. I mean, you can send any number of uh, two or three girls out to the circle and, and get the job done with Webb, with Willman, with Hines. Talk about your pitching staff. Yeah, it's it's that's one of the things that um, since I've been here, I've, I've made it a focus, you know, to you have to have good pitching to win. Um, and, and we really do have three kids that are throwing the ball really well. Um, and, and basically it's just a base, a choice of a matchup with our opponent now. Cause I feel like I have three kids that are different styles. They're none of them are the same and, and, and they're all capable of winning at this level. So right now we just try to pick the matchup we want against the style of hitting team that, um, uh, we're facing and go out there and uh, try to score enough run to, runs to win. The uh, and Our pitchers have done a great job. You know, Coach, that, that has to be a luxury to be able to do that, to, to just look around and go, okay, this is who we have this weekend. We'll, we'll start with this particular matchup and, and know that there's definitely going to be somebody that has something in the take to, to pick up the slack. Right. And, you know, like West Texas last weekend, they, they're, they're a um, – I don't know. They they have a quite, um, they have a lift in their swing. Most of their kids, uh, so it's hard to attack them down in the zone because you're throwing the ball onto their barrel path, and so you have to really attack them up in the zone. Well, you know, Bethany Hines is a junior and um, has a single season wins record here. Well, she only faced one batter the whole series because she's a drop ball kid, and the other two or, you know, pitch up in the zone more. And um, that gave us a chance to be more effective against those kid, the, that team. Uh, so when you can take a kid that holds a single season record for wins in your program and she doesn't she doesn't throw a face but one batter <laughs> in a series against the number six team in the country, that's, that's a pretty good deal. Uh, definitely a luxury. Well, Coach, you all are taking on Western New Mexico this weekend. As a matter of fact, I, I mentioned, you know, being in Silver City today – and then you come back home against Angelo State in your next series. Go ahead and, and uh, give us a preview of what these two will be like. Well, um, 
Western New Mexico's record um, isn't that good, but they all their games they've won have been at home. They have some good wins at home. They're tough to beat at home. Of course, you uh, get off the bus and it's a 13-hour travel um, <laughs> to get there. So that, that plays into it. But they play really well at home, really scrappy team, uh, swing the bat well. They have struggled pitching. Um, and so we – we're hoping that we can take advantage of that and hopefully um, put up some big numbers offensively. And at the same time, with our, like I said, with our pitching staff, uh, it's hard to score runs. So we feel like we have an advantage there. Just just need to go out and play uh, the way we're capable. And then next week at home, um, we have Angelo State. And they've made the College World Series the last two years and have won our conference the last two years. Uh, but it's another series we have at home. Um, they're ranked in the top 25. But me as a coach, uh, I, I'm usually pretty honest about how I feel of matching up with uh, other teams. And I really believe we have the better team that people are going to see uh, next weekend, you know, that, uh, that we're going to – I feel like we're capable of winning and maybe even sweeping that series. All right. Well, we look forward to that. That that will be great. We'll be following along here on the Oklahoma Sports Podcast and with OklahomaSports.net. And coach, success to you this weekend. I know with the thirteen-hour drive out there and that back, it'll be nearly April by the time you get back into Oklahoma. So you all do well. Success to you, and thank you for taking time with us today on the Oklahoma Sports Podcast. All right, thank you. 